Hi, I'm Yoko. Today, I'll be sharing how to make three kind of baked oats recipes. These are all plant-based and easy to make. These baked oats are so creamy and smooth, it's like eating a bread pudding. These taste amazing when it's freshly baked or even after cooled. So use this as a meal prep idea, breakfast or even dessert. Enjoy these healthy cakes. So let's dive in. The first recipe I'll be making is lemon blueberry baked oats. Into a blender, I'm going to add half a banana. Small blender works perfectly to make single serving baked oats. Then I'm going to add third cup of oats. Here I'm using old fashioned oats. Then one teaspoon of flax meal. This binds everything together. Two tablespoons of maple syrup. Quarter cup of soy milk. Then for the nice refreshing flavor, I'm going to add the lemon zest. I'm zesting about a quarter lemon worth of the peel. I'm also squeezing fresh lemon juice and let's add two tablespoons of it. Then I'm adding quarter teaspoon of baking powder and a pinch of salt. Let's screw the lid. Now let's get blending. The acid from the lemon juice activate the baking powder. So there might be a lot of bubble produced. Please be careful, the butter might explode when you open it. Now once the butter become nice and smooth, I'm going to transfer half of the butter into open safe bowl and place two tablespoons of blueberries. Then cover the surface with the rest of the butter and top the surface off with another two tablespoons of blueberries and a half a tablespoon of old fashioned oats. Now let's bake this at 350 Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. The cake rises as it cooks and it falls as it cools. Enjoy hot or cold, scoop yourself a generous amount and enjoy the burst of juice from blueberries and the creamy texture of the cake. Next, I'm going to bake small baked oats. Like before, I'm starting with adding half a banana. I'm using super ripe and spotted banana, which is perfect for this recipe, and one third cup of oats. Then, I'm going to add two tablespoons of maple syrup, quarter cup of soy milk, and for this recipe, I'm going to add one teaspoon of chia seeds. This works as a binder for this recipe. Then, I'm going to add two teaspoons of cacao powder, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a pinch of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of baking powder. I'm going to skew the lid and blend until smooth. Once it becomes silky smooth, let's pour half the butter into oven safe bowl. Sprinkle half a tablespoon of chocolate chips. Then I'm going to add other half of the butter. Then I'm going to top it off with half a tablespoon of chocolate chips and two tablespoons of vegan marshmallows. Let's bake this at 350 Fahrenheit for 25 minutes. Once the marshmallows become caramelized, it's ready to be enjoyed. This is so chocolatey and indulging, yet made with simple ingredients, and it's so satisfying and filling. The third recipe is matcha raspberry baked oats. Also, it has a secret ingredient inside. As before, I'm starting with adding half banana into a blender, then goes one third cup of oats, one teaspoon of flax meal, then I'm going to add one teaspoon of matcha powder, two tablespoons of maple syrup, quarter cup of soy milk, quarter teaspoon of baking powder, pinch of salt, and to make it extra vibrant green, I'm going to add a handful of spinach. Matcha has a great flavor, but the color-wise, it's more like yellowish green. So by adding spinach, I can boost the color and also the nutrient. So once the butter nicely blended, let's add half of it into the oven safe bowl. And to this, I want to add the filling. I'm using one tablespoon of azuki red bean paste. This is sweet bean paste used a lot in Japanese confectionery. The filling can be nut butter or any fruits. So I'm adding two tablespoons of raspberries to add tart and fresh flavor. Then I'm going to add other half of the butter. Then I'm going to top it off with two tablespoons more of raspberries and one tablespoon of coconut flakes. This adds a really nice crunch on top. Now let's bake this at 350 Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. Once it's baked, it's ready to be enjoyed. The deep flavor of matcha, tart flavor of raspberries, and sweetness from red bean paste are great together. This Japanese-inspired recipe is my favorite out of three. So these are three kind of baked oats recipes. This is perfect plant-based breakfast. You can bake ahead or since it's super easy to make, you can freshly bake in the mornings. It also can be a great snack too. You can enjoy lovely cake in the morning while you stay on healthy track. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.